Good day. This message is for sun signs in Gemini. Sun signs in Gemini. This week, your spiritual warfare message is that there is some gossip at the workplace or amongst your business associates that is attacking your solar plexus chakra, which could be affecting your willpower and self-discipline. Now, what you want to do is strengthen your crown chakra. Do this by using herbal teas, herbal baths, jar magic, and add some crystals to your drinking water and baths. Your messages from the universe regarding your recent past is that you allowed your emotional intelligence to guide you through dedicating your energy to self care and spent some time recovering. You manifested new opportunities by being practical and realistic. There was a pause for you to reflect on your journey and you kept going. Now presently, you're choosing not to take any shortcuts on your healing and using your light to let go of past experiences. You are understanding your ambitions and moving in the right direction. The universe wants you to know that presently there is progress in your prosperity and stability in home and relationships. In the near future, sun signs in Gemini this week, stand up for yourself and let go of others' expectations of you. Be optimistic about your new beginnings and the potential of your ideas. Your karma messages came from planet Pluto. Pluto wants you to know that if you continually purify yourself with a capital S meaning whole and your goals working for the good of all capital A again as in whole I will help you. By gaining control of yourself, you will gain control of your world. The warning from Pluto is that if your goals become selfish, I will aid those who will band together to pull you down. As far as your material goals are concerned, it will be as if you're powerless. So amongst these goals, sun signs, and Gemini, do not become materialistic, okay? Focus on spirituality, not material things. Unless you want your ops to have a one-up. <laughs> now you have creativity. That enables you to have an impact on the world around you um, in a positive way. Resurrect those beliefs that you had as a child of making the world a better place. Get to the heart of the cost of fun, romance, and making art. When it comes to your creations, do or die, <laughs> you must use the most direct way and do it dramatically. Show practicality with an obsession of the need for control of resources, to maintain investment gambles in other games. The power of love is no longer a power struggle resulting from the productivity of your creations. Your chakra wisdom card is the third eye. The theme is imagination. Use your imagination as you create and pursue your dreams and wishes. Ask yourself, what do I want? Your thoughts create your reality at the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual levels. Use this power to create harmonious relationships between all these levels. Imagine the life you would like to have and encourage your thoughts to be truthful, wise, and discerning. In the quietness of meditation, see and hear 
the truth. You had two how to love yourself affirmation cards. The first one is, I have abundance in all areas of my life. I claim abundance for myself right here and right now. I deserve to be prosperous. I deserve my good. The second one was, I forgive myself for any wrongdoing. I no longer judge or criticize myself. I am free to love who I am. Your healing mantra is asking for angelic support. My angels respond when I am open and authentic about how I feel. That mantra is ideal for unraveling the spiritual ego, giving up patterns of avoidance, and being a better receiver. When asking for angelic support, you are requesting solutions from a higher realm of consciousness. Such a realm of consciousness works in accordance with free will to help you face your experiences instead of helping you avoid them. Rather than believe the cause of your feelings must be changed or eliminated, it is essential to ask your angels for better ways of viewing the feelings that keep getting triggered. Because each trigger represents a healing, you are more likely to feel the presence of your angels when asking for their help to face your most difficult emotions. In order to access angelic assistance, it is important to be with your feelings so your angels know where support is most needed. Your self-care for the soul, inner child wants you to look to the stars, meaning grab hold of your birth chart, Western and Vedic, learn the components of the planetary alignments in you so you can use those for your benefit and not go against healing previous generations, but can heal overall. Your present self wants you to clear your energy field. Clear your energy field with smudging with Palo Santo, Sage, and also Reiki and binaural frequencies. Do this in the car, do this while at home, listen to it while you're at work. And your higher self wants you to look for fairies. What that means is Find the magic in everyday things when you're outside. We also have animal spirit guides, even dragonflies, butterflies. Make every daily habit task magical. Regarding your love life, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Your soul journey card was worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Worry is a wasted emotion. It does nothing other than give you the illusion of control. When you expand too much energy worrying, it limits you and has an adverse effect on the natural energy of the soul. Worrying destroys hope, faith, and excitement that are wonderful elements of this <laughs> schoolroom called Earth. Remember that you are what you think, and you have the power to create positive thoughts which beget positive outcomes. Worry is a negative emotion and sets you up for a negative result. What unnecessary worries are you carrying around with you now? Examine them objectively in the light of love. Help your soul by releasing them and be fully connected to the current moment 
which is where your power resides. And the last card for our general weekly healing message, the universe has your back. When I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. Those are the messages that I have for you, Sun Signs and Gemini, and I'll see you next week.